like I'm cold. Industry full of lights, I play the game like I'm cold. And since I think I'm cold. Yo, man, what's going on today? As you see, we're on the defensive side of the ball. Y'all been asking me about this 3-4 defense. How do I run it? What are the things that I do? So that's what we learning today. Now, before we get into it, make sure you hit that like button down below. Y'all been asking for this. Let's hit 600. Can we hit 600 likes? We're probably going to do more than that. Y'all been asking for this. But we're going to be going against about four sets. An empty set, gun bunch, gun trips, and a tight set. So those are the most, you're going to see that online all the time. You know, As you see, cover for drop show two, that is what I run. You may want to go ahead and... Uh, Take your audibles and just sub in a cover three cloud. Okay, that's what I do, cover three cloud. That's pretty much it. But you see cover four, we average 8.3 yards allowed. You will most likely give up more than 6.5. Okay, this defense is something that your opponent can be at the 10, he can march all the way down the field, but if he makes one mistake, it's your ball. He can throw a 30 yard, a quick little height, a slant route, because we send in pressure. Then we may play coverage one time, he may, you know, Playmaker, somebody up the field, he's getting yardage, and all of a sudden we get a strip set. We get a pick six. You know, we get a pick. So you're giving up yardage, but what you're going to get from that is most likely a turnover. Big thing I've been seeing is, is about out routes. But first, let's set up the blitz. Okay, it goes like this. Base a line, spread your D-line, and pinch your linebackers. Okay, right now, I don't even have the right personnel in the game. But we're not worried about it yet. We're going to change personnel later. I got Clowney at the end spot. You really want these guys at outside linebacker and put Griffin in the game. But we're going to do that later. As you see, that's it. Blitz all linebackers and quarterback contain. That's what I do. And by the way, all this is in the description down below. Okay, as you can see, we are rushing seven people. If your opponent, if you're going to get your opponent, most likely he is blocking six once he sees that. Okay, this is how it's going to look. Now, a thing that really hurts this is out routes because your guys on the outside, your corners, they are on quarters. You know, that's not going to stop. It's not going to stop the out routes. So one thing that I'm gonna teach you guys to kill out routes is hard flat. This is what I do though. I don't just run the hard flat like this. I don't press on the hard flat. I back off coverage, back them up just a little bit, just like this, and play hard flat. And I bring these guys down. This is exactly what I would do against someone just like that. And I'm gonna use this left side right here. So my responsibility is triangle, okay? I'm still gonna have to do in the inside quarter, but I'll be guarding triangle. So if he tries to throw a quick out, no matter what formation, some people like to come out single back ace and throw quick outs. This is just a thing that you can do because he has to get the ball off. Hard flats will pick it. And you are okay. If he runs a streak, you still are fine. We could demonstrate that later. But let's hit this quick out. Pressure coming. Throw the quick out. And as you can see, we make a play on the ball. Normally, that's a pick. But if he tries to throw a quick out, he don't have time to throw a 10-yard out. He just doesn't have time for that because he's going to get sacked. But if he tries to dot you up, um, if we do that again, we'll do it like that. This time, let's stay in the outside quarters and run it again. Outside quarters, right? As you can see, see, he, he can dot you up like that. He can dot you up that all game. Like what I'm gonna do is move it to the right hash mark and run it out on that side. So again, play hard flats if you want to kill the out. If somebody dogging you like that, because you're relying on the pressure to come. You're relying on the pressure to come get him. You feel me? So that's just how it's gonna be. So let's just throw it out route real quick. Other routes on the field. Again, he's on the out. If you smart route the out, you just don't have enough time to throw that. This is what I mean. Set hike over the head. You just don't. It won't. You won't catch that. You won't. You won't catch that. It won't even let let the defense make a play on the ball. But let's try this one more time. Put him on that. Back him up a little bit. Pass mark block and running back. Either which way, if he blocks the running back, he's still coming in. Here goes a quick out. Again. Boom. See, normally that's a pick. I don't know why he's making no play on the ball. So when you see five wide, when you see five wide, somebody's coming out like this, just neck it, five wide. To me, I actually keep the same exact adjustments, okay? Base the line, spread the line, pinch the linebackers, and blitz them all. I contain. Once I contain, what is he doing? He want to contain. Uh, we still don't got no speed on the outside. I'll put Griffin and the boys in in a minute. But you see we come down. This is what you're going to see. It's say basic. Same stuff. Same stuff, man. This is what you want to do. Take this guy, put him right there. And uh, remember, we're sending seven. He's blocking five. So if we can take one guy, I like to put him in a spot. Or you can man him up with the tight end. It is what it is. It's going to be the same routes. You know, it's either going to be a drag or the, that tight end is going to like kind of glitchy, vert, whatever. And that's how it's going to go. Or you really low-key got to watch him for heels. So I'll bring him back just a little bit like that. Bring this squad over. Just like that. That's it. Simple and easy. 
So we really got everything back. Let CPU play everything else. Remember, only I got two controllers. Only got two hands, so I can't play. <laughs> I can't play everything. But yeah, this is gonna be like this. Normally he's on the drag. He's on that glitchy vert. So as you can see, you know we really got two things bagged at one time. So again, soft squats over here. You know, he he's got him. He's got him now. He's got him. But you should be okay. You know if he throws that. Um, it does look open, but trust me, if you're good at clicking on, you got number 30 right here. That should be a pick. But the play is over, like right here. It's over right there. You know what I mean? Unless he, unless he, yeah, it's, yeah, it's over right there. It's over right there. He was loading it up, going to Kelsey. And this guy, we got Bobby Wagner. Yeah. Okay, so Bobby Wagner right here. If he throws this, it's too late to throw the drag. You see, the drag is open until it's like right there. So the drag is really not open. And if he throws, does he get it off? Bobby will make a play on that ball. If you got a guy with his own abilities or something like that, obviously have them on the outside. That's what you need. That's what you want. I'm telling you. Okay. Again. Yeah, let's mix something up. This is how I normally play it. Come down. Man him up. That's how it is. Quarterback attain. And if you ever start to scramble, for instance, if you go against somebody that started to go like this, like this, that's when you know the play is over. He could try to make the boom. Oh, that's nice. That was nice. And stuff like that's gonna happen. Stuff like that's gonna happen. He's gonna roll out, try to throw it. Now, if I had his brother over there, you're not running from him. Comes a five wide, soft squats the outside. Take one of the blitzing linebackers. It doesn't have to be the middle linebacker. Man him up on somebody or put him in his own and keep your quarters. I do that against, it don't matter what he's doing. It don't matter what he's doing. Watch out for the screens too. You know, if it's a screen, go ahead and do what you gotta do, set it up. But I like to come down right here. If I know you're running the screen, you know, I know when I feel a scrub, I can smell him. So it's gonna be a pick to the crib. That's how I go. And when it comes to gun bunch, base line, press coverage. Spread your D-line, pinch your linebackers, and blitz them off. Okay, when it's like that. Now take this guy right here. I motion him all the way in. Now I blitz him, right? It is what it is though, man. When I see something like this. But most likely you can see plays like tight end corner. Let's try to set up a tight end corner real quick. Something like this. They like to motion him in, put him on that. You know, you're gonna see that. And they're gonna look for the out street. That's what they're gonna look for. Okay, so what I do is, you really, you gotta respect. See, the Chiefs are so scary, man. They so scary because they got so much speed. You take Diggs. He's on the he's on the inside quarter. Diggs is on the inside quarter. We're gonna motion him over here and put him on the inside quarter to the right. So now he's replacing my zone, my user zone. Okay, but you still wanna kind of send to the left. And then me, I had the inside quarter. This is gonna be my responsibility right here all over here so i'm letting cpu take that zone and i'm gonna go over here and i'm gonna use this area which most likely is going to be the out now i can't use him because you know i got two controllers and i got to use a one to hike the ball on offense but you have all this over here okay you have all that and that's the best thing about setting something like this up he has to get the ball up you realize we are going to scream we are going to see we're going to scream it's it's so it's so difficult because once your opponent starts to run back play is over um, but you gotta have speed when you do this because some quarterbacks can get away. When I got the two twins on the outside, you see we ain't getting no pressure on the left, right? But if he would have scrambled to the left, he would have got off that block, and that's not even with speed coming to him. His brother right beside him, coming down, boom, screaming. It's just, it's, it's very hard, man. It's very hard. Again, the play, the play is over right here, bro. The play is over. The routes didn't even develop yet, but you see this guy right here. Oh, I ran with that too. But 37, 37 has that. Sammy Watkins. Me, I have this. And I like the bump routes too. I like the bump routes. Some say that's cheese, but hey, I'm gonna tell you one thing, I'm bumpy. I'm bumpy, man, it is what it is. Come up, he got the end route, oh my gosh. He killed him, see that's scary, but again, the play's over. You know, some some routes you gonna have people wide open, but you just can't hit them. You can't press. Bring him in like that. Now, when we go against gun tight and offset, I'm gonna show you something that's very scary. That's very scary. But we can't, we, it don't work against gun bunch. Again, block these guys. You can put them on some. Let's just focus on this right here. Again, ball's high. Let's run to the opposite way. You see what I'm saying? You know, it, he's blocked, but he's gonna come off the block with 91 speed, and that's gonna be real scary, bro. You know, see, I used to just send seven against gun bunch and hope. That, you know, the tight end running back on the route. Now I'm sending eight. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. I'm going to get to you, you know. That's how it is. Get outside. It's so much pressure, though. 
It's so much pressure. You see, it's just too much. It's so much heat. But you gotta have the right zones out there too. Okay. Again, sitting that pressure. What could he do? You know, some people will start to fly wide and do something like this. You know, do that. So when they when they do that, um, I like to take the guy. I uh, always put a hard flat towards the running back. Don't worry about the opposite side. I got this. You know, so when it's hiked, you use this side of the field, you know, that's how it goes. You know when he's five wide, you know when you get in the groove of five wide, and you should know that. And uh, that's pretty much it against Gun Bunch. You know, you can see a lot of things. Hold on, you can see you can see wide receiver posts and stuff like that, but he doesn't have time to throw no wide receiver posts. So don't even worry about that. Trust and believe me. If he tries to motion this guy over, now we're going to set up the blitz real quick. Hold on. Press coverage again. Take this guy. Bring him down. Once you bring him down, so you line it that way. We are going to come screaming. I got all this. I actually like this because I'm going to put this guy right here and hoping that he throws a streak. Something like that. Again, I'm going to try to roll out. You see, you can't do nothing. You can't do nothing. Even if you hike the ball, you can't do nothing, man. Oh, here we go. Okay, you see a tight set like this. Basin line, you always press coverage against a tight set. Now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take the outside guy again. I'm going to stay on him. I'm going to blitz him until I see that he goes. See, with a set like this, if I run the blitz without even blitzing Griffin, we're coming in. So, nine times out of ten, he's going to motion somebody to have eight blockers, okay? I'm not eight blockers, seven blockers. So, what you're going to see him do, you'll see somebody go like this. Take this guy, motion him over there. And these are the routes you're going to see. This is going to be this basic. I'm telling you. These are the routes you're going to see, right? But what we gonna do? We gonna block. We gonna we gonna blitz eight and take Clowny. That's why I put Clowny right there. We are gonna spy Clowny. All right, that's how we're going. So we sending seven. The game thinks eight. We got the spy in the middle for anything that's crazy. Um, if he tries to run something like, or well, far as defense, this is what we're gonna do. That's that's the adjustments we're gonna make. That's it. It ain't nothing crazy. Because what you're gonna see is this exact play. You probably have somebody like that. He don't have time to run slants like this because the spies in the middle of the field. Your opponent doesn't know that though, yet. So if you run something like that, drag over there, slant. You know, I can't use it on the defensive side because like I said, I got two controllers. But something like this, if he hikes the ball, pressure coming on the outside, and there you go. That is exactly what you are going to see. You see, this happens 100% of the time. I'm not lying. But this happens 100% of the time against this formation. Watch this. This slides through. It slides through. We got two men coming out. And we rushing seven. We rushing seven. He blocking seven. So that's how it's gonna look. Boom. And here again. Look at look at this, man. This is perfect. This is perfect. Look at Clowny. Hold on. Let me get on Clowny real quick. Clowny on the spot, right? He bumped him. And he played the other route. Come on, man. It don't get better than that. It don't get better than that. That's why I put him right there. Put Clowny at the spot. Right here in the middle. Boom. Wow. Come on now. One thing is a huge, huge pickup that you gotta learn. If he comes out and he takes this guy and he motion towards where Griffin at, then you can't spot, you can't spot Clowny. You can't spot him. You can't spot him. So now you gotta rely on the eight against seven. And now here's where the user comes in effect. But you see the extra guy out here, you always take him and move him over here. There's really no point in putting him over there. I got this for the outs. Ah. I don't know, man. I wouldn't play no hard flat. I'll play a curl flat. I'll play a curl flat. I'll play a curl flat. I'll do something like that. And I'll man up him. Just like that. I'll man him up on the outside. You got the middle. You got this and that. Okay, I can't use it at, but you got you to decide really what you're going to do. But at the end of the day, like I said, most likely. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Yo, he screamed. Oh, he told that jump. <laughs> Yo, this game crazy. Look at Bobby. I mean, shot free. Shot free. Right at the quarterback. And when he hits you, I'm surprised. I ain't surprised. I mean, that that's a fumble. We scoop it up. And you see, phone him gone. He go. He going crazy. Tyreek Hill, that's a plus for you. Because now Tyreek Hill's blocking. I've seen people do that. Now Tyreek Hill's blocking. That's a huge threat. Now he's blocking. So basically, he's out to play. Again, he'll try to run the streak. Come with a slant. Um, the out route's not gonna be over. He just doesn't have enough time. Spread it over. Quarterback attain. Bye bye, my guy Clowny. 
is in that. So again, ball is hiked. He just, oh my gosh, it's just nowhere to go. Like when you when you hike the ball, you literally have to throw it. When you send, you gotta throw the ball, man. And speed is huge. Speed is huge. You need speed. Again, watch this. Just coming off the edge. And look at this boy right here. Look at him. He right, he right, he waiting on something. That's a pick. If he throws that slant, that's a pick. Matter of fact, I'm gonna see if I can actually throw the slant just to show you guys. Hold on. I'm gonna see if I can throw the slant. If I have enough time to throw the slant. That's how it's gonna look. Over there. Spot him. Streak, streak, slant. We're gonna see if we can throw the slant. All right, y'all ready for it? Y'all ready for it? Oh, he dropped it, Clowny. You can put Griffin right there. You can put Griffin right there. He got that speed, so. Um, but I like to keep an outside for the blitz. When you face a tight formation like that, that's a plus. If he ever goes like this and motions him out, that's a win for you because now you can just send a blitz just like this base. You don't have to send an extra guy. And you know, whatever zones you want to run, you just run. Because like I said, we're going to come screaming. Just like that. That time he had two people come in. Connie came in. So, again, when you face a tight formation like that, that is a plus. Now, formations like this really, I'm not going to say kills the blitz, but it really makes me not want to blitz. If I'm going to get somebody that's, even the average player should know how to dot somebody up with an offense like this when I'm blitzing everybody. So, sometimes what you see me do is I'll do everything like I'm blitzing. He's blocking eight, seven people, I mean. But we're in coverage. And I always have a spot out there. So it'll be something like this. Most of the time your opponent try to set some up. You know what? Some crazy, not like that. Some crazy like this. He'll start to set up routes like that. Because he's thinking that the pressure's coming. He's trying to get the ball off quick. But the whole time, it's not. And I'll be over here. I'll use a him. I'll use a him. But again, oh snap. Now I'm rocking three. So that's how it is. You may hit him right there. Oh, good play. Good play, Bobby. Good play. Good play, Bobby Wagner. But that's what I mean. Um, if, if they're coming out blocking seven, you have to respect the formation like this. Because even the average player should dot you up. Or they have him right here. They have this dude on the out. They have him on the street. They have, you know, this, this formation is one of the formations that you can really kill this blitz. Again, play action. But as you see, I ain't blocking nobody. I mean, I ain't blitzing nobody. So this guy was coming over with a slant. But it's a good play by Bobby. Um, I prefer curl flats, just keep him in the curl. But he still made a play on the boss. Like I said, a good player, he's going to go up. Okay. He's going to let you set the blitz up. I'm going to flip that jump. See, if you flip something for like gun tight offset, it doesn't matter. Because I'm still coming. And you can't really flip a formation like that. You don't, The only thing that's moving is the running back. You know what I'm saying? So, um, gun bunch, gun bunch, you still out. You still out in gun bunch. But stuff like this where it's trips and like, you know, they're going to just do this. They're going to motion him. They're going to plant him. They're going to do that. First of all, I got a baseline line. My players always baseline line like that. Your players gonna move crazy. This is where they gonna get you at. You know, do that. They do something. They gonna reset the play. That's that's what they're gonna do. Uh, you can tell they're good, and you, you gotta respect that. And that's when you gotta start to realize you still can send the pressure, but just lay off a little bit. You know, play coverage, get a stop, play back. Now I'll probably send six, seven, and play back because of this. Oh, let me set this up real quick. If you do something like this, yeah, you can bring this guy down, but with your with your what you're giving up is huge. I don't know why he can't be in the inside third. I already say. Okay, so what you're giving up is huge. You got so much space on the left side. Especially if I'm on the right hash mark, I got so much space on the left side. So you could just you can just motion him in on a quick little slant. Um, put him on that and put him on that. See, this is deadly. Because of the way the blockers are set up. Now, I'm going to come in with the blitz, but he does. Like, he can, he has enough space to dot you up. Because it's, it's, it's like a spread offense and you're able to, to block these guys. So, this formation deadly like this. Um, Yeah, it's pretty deadly. So, if you send an eight, for instance, I'm on offense. Yeah, I can just go like this. You know, and that's it. And you don't want a rat catch. You always conservative catch like this and just dot your way down the field. I wasn't going over the coverage, but... I have a whole video on the coverage from 3-4, so I'm gonna put that in the link down below. So make sure you guys check the description because the setups, the links, the timestamps, just check all of that. That'll be in the comments too, so make it easier for you guys so you don't have to watch the whole thing. 
And uh, that's pretty much it. This blitz is not crazy. Trust me. If you're confused, like, whoa, bro, I still don't understand, just check the description. The description going to have it set up probably better than I even explained it. That's pretty much it, man. Make sure you guys hit that like button down below, and I will catch you guys on the next video. I'm out.